So, you know those moments when you're cleaning the espresso machine and Kafiza splashes in your face and you mess up your wing? So yeah, um, I'm going to talk about my eat, pray, love experience that I've been having. You guys, like, it's changed my life. So I've been eating whatever I want. It's been great. I've had bagels with cream cheese, I've had cinnamon rolls, I've had dessert bars you wouldn't even believe at Sam and Zoe's right now. And I haven't been breaking out, I haven't gained a lot of weight, and I've just been enjoying the food. It's been life changing. So a little backstory, I have had, I've had body issues since I was a kid, because I started breaking out, like I had skin issues, and then because of like school and you know thinking about my skin like I gained weight and so over the years I've lost weight and I've had moments where my skin is completely clear but recently I've been I've broke this year broke out the worst that I've ever had in my life well because when you're breaking out it's your body trying to tell you something I could never figure out what it was trying to tell me and finally it was just <laughs> I was stressing way too hard about everything from the food I was eating, to the way that I look, to, you know, thinking about music in a certain way, or thinking about relationships in a certain way, or my, where I should be in my career now, and just, I just don't even care anymore. I just gave up. I was like, I, it's not my job to worry, it's my job to show up to <laughs> keep doing this. So, yeah, I've just been enjoying life, finding things to get excited about, and doing stuff like this and getting ready to release some music, it's like I've decided to stop worrying about my external circumstances. Like, I pay my bills, I do all that th third dimensional stuff, but I focus more on the other dimensions and it reflects here. So that's been really cool. Because it like transcend. okay, so this is revolutionary for me because it transcends like everything that I've believed just from the food that I've been eating. Because normally if I were to eat like a bagel of cream cheese or a cinnamon roll, I would be thinking about breaking out. And then now I haven't, like at all. It's been like I haven't, my mind's not telling my body to be stressed anymore. I'm just focused on enjoying the food. Oh man. Grr, my video cut out. Ah. Oh this editing thing. I gotta get a, used to it. Anyway, what I was talking about is that normally, and plus I had to fix the light anyway. I gotta sit up straight. I was watching the video. I'm like, damn, I gotta straighten up. Um, <laughs> so I would, yeah, so I would think about the food I was eating and why it wasn't good for me, and then I would break out. So that's why that happens. You're, Thinking about things that you enjoy, those things are going to come to you. That's the law of attraction. That's why when you think about something horrible happening, something horrible is going to happen. Like, and like, not to say that if you th like randomly think something, you know, that it's going to happen. Like, just because you had that one thought, you just let it go. If it's like, that's a thought that I don't really want to hold on to. It's just not, you know, I'm good. I could... I could do without that thought, but I appreciate you showing up. Like, you got real spunk. If we treat it like that, <laughs> then it's easier, like, because the problem is with attachment. Our ego attaches to things. And so when we are not attached to anything, any, like, outside circumstances, if we just focus on, like, holy shit, I just want to feel good. Like, if I think of, like, what makes me feel good right now? Like, what would, what would, like, really turn this around, like, oh, there's that, you know, I'm going to be making a video when I get home, or I'm going to, oh man, I'm really looking forward to when I get to, you know, go play some music with my friends, or I'm really looking forward to going out and having that drink with, you know, someone I haven't seen in a long time, like, thinking about things that you want to do and that are going to happen, that you can control, and then, like, it just, you're not in that state of, like, I don't have this. Let me tell you, this is the matrix, and we already have everything that we need. 
especially here in the United States, like, we got it pretty good. So why not, like, take this time to do what we want to do, you know? So, <sighs> that's what I'm doing. And whenever I do break out, I'm just like, yeah, you know what? Cool. Everybody does it. Everybody breaks out. No point in stressing. So, yeah. Try it for yourselves. Like, what's something you're looking forward to today? Or tomorrow? Or next week? You know? How... Like, it's something that you're truly excited about, not something that you tell yourself you should be excited about or that you're expected to be excited about. Like, what you're actually, like, what puts that, like, fire in your belly? What puts that, like, rhythm in your chest where you feel synchronized with everything around you? Like, everything's, like, happening around you, but you're, you don't have to do anything. Like, what makes you feel like that? So, and leave it in the comments. Why not? You know, we'll have a little conversation. It'll be good. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You could share it with your friends. You could also subscribe, because there will be more of these <laughs> as I have my little revelations about things. I'm gonna be talking about essential oils and aliens and music and cool people. Like, I'm gonna be interviewing some cool people. So get ready. Anyways, this is your friendly neighborhood unicorn. Signing off. Have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you soon.